And the three things that I want to leave with you, just these three, I could do 10, I could do a whole life class. But just these three things will carry you if you let them. First and foremost, knowing who you are. Knowing who you are. Being able to answer this question, who am I and what do I want? Understanding that because I am connected to the source of all that is, all that is possible is possible for me. That's who I am. And what do I want? I don't want to just be successful in the world. I don't want to just make a mark or have a legacy. The answer to that question for me is, I want to fulfill the highest, truest expression of myself as a human being. I want to fulfill the promise that the Creator dreamed when he dreamed the cells that made up me. What do I want? You must have some kind of vision for your life. Even if you don't know the plan, you have to have a direction in which you choose to go. What I've learned is that's a great metaphor for life. You want to be in the driver's seat of your own life because if you're not, life will drive you. So, knowing who you really are in this space and time that we embody, that's number one. What do you want? Who are you? Number two, you must find a way to serve. Martin Luther King, said that not everybody can be famous, but everybody can be great because greatness is determined by service. Now we live in a world where everybody wants to be famous and where we admire people for just being famous. We think being known brings us value. The truth is all of that will fade in time. The real truth is that service and significance, service, and the significance that you bring to your service is that which is lasting. When you shift the paradigm of whatever it is you choose to do to service and you bring significance to that, success will, I promise you, follow you. Service and significance equals success. That's number two. Number three, it's so simple, but so hard to do. Always do the right thing. Always. Be excellent. People notice. Be excellent. Let excellence be your brand. And what I know is that when you are excellent, you become unforgettable. People remember you, you stand out. So doing the right thing, even when nobody knows you're doing the right thing, will always bring the right thing to you. I promise you that. Why? Because the third law of motion is always at work. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. That is so true in all of our lives. You do the right thing, even when other people think it may not be. And oftentimes, when you make a decision to do the right thing, immediately you're faced with doubt. Was that the right thing? Was that the right decision? I don't know, was that the right thing? You always know it's the right thing, when in the end, there is peace. You are rewarded by peace in knowing that you did the right thing. So my greatest advice to you is to surround yourself
with people who are going to fill your cup until your cup runneth over. And what I know for sure is that the biggest choices begin and end with you, your internal big questions. Who do I want to be in the world? My relationship to source energy, to all that is God. I'm not talking about what you believe in God. I'm talking about your experience of that which is all life, which is divine and universal. I'm talking about the big deal, being connected and aligned with that. When you are tuned in and charged into that, whenever you feel empty, you go inside yourself and you connect to the source and you know that all things are possible. And those three things will not only lead you to a blessed life. I stand as a witness. My life is so blessed, I can't even take it in sometimes. It will lead you not just to a, a, a gifted life and a rewarding life that fills you up, but a sweet life. That's what you want. You want the sweetness. You want it to be so sweet so that even when the storms come, and they will, you'll know this too shall pass. This too shall pass. The storm is passing over and you shall not be moved because you know who you are.